Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to Top Channel 101. So if you have been following me for the last few weeks or months, uh, you will see that I'm trying to improve Blender usability by doing a few things. Uh, the first thing I tried to do was uh, create some add-ons that will help me uh, improve my workflow and uh, I made them into add-ons uh, that I sell on the Blender market. Uh, you can go to this page and take a look at them or even watch a few videos me explaining how those add-ons work and uh, you also realize in the last week i also created this app uh, that lets you it's a free app that lets you queue up blender projects uh, so that you can uh, render them one by one without two days ago i released this one here and uh, i've had a good reception from from you guys uh, so today i'm working on something else uh this is let me just show you what it does so if you have been using Blender for a while, you notice that uh, Blender doesn't really have a good way uh, to play back things you have already rendered. So, for example, if I rendered this scene out, I haven't rendered anything out. Let me maybe do that for you. Let's create a new folder here. And I just so make I'm just rendering it at 25%. Let me save. Do a quick. Let me first show you. Actually, did a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, you can watch the video there. But uh, if I did a quick render, let me make sure that I have a camera here. Yeah, if you if you did a quick render of this, you notice that uh, after rendering, there is no easy way uh, to play back the animation if the if Blender is not uh, open. There there are no uh, image sequence players for Windows. I'm not sure about Mac users, but uh, I'm sure there isn't either uh, but uh, yeah so this is an image sequence player uh, that I'm creating uh, that lets you play back any image sequence player that any image sequences you have on your computer and uh, as this finishes let me just play back some of other render sequences uh, that I've have uh, that I've made you can see it's a very very minimum sequence minimum interface and uh, if you have any recent projects you can see I've added uh, a files menu I uh, open you can open an, uh, an image sequence just navigate uh, to the folder uh, if the folder has an image sequence, it won't show the images, but uh, you just have to navigate to that folder. And uh, if you select that folder, uh, the add-on will be able to detect the image sequence and play back uh, that image sequence for you. So I'm adding these add-ons, these ads here, just so as a way to support uh, the development of these add-ons because uh, um, I'm putting them out of out for free. But uh, if uh, you can support me by, if you want to get any of the add-ons that are added to the banner here you can just click on the banner uh, like this botanical uh, link and uh, it should take you uh, to the page and uh, if you want to buy that item you can buy it to support the channel I just get a few uh, commissions off, the, off of that but uh, if it's getting in the way you just have to click on this close and uh, it will get rid of that I uh, can see I have a few uh, tools here you can pause you can play uh, you can pause go back frame by frame or go forward frame by frame so this is something that, that was lacking uh, for blender there isn't any image sequence players i know of. Uh, i really tried a lot uh you, most of the times i would have to first import uh, the image sequence in premiere pro uh, so i decided to develop something uh, simple uh, for myself and maybe also try to share it with you guys for free and this is still work in progress as you can see i'm launching it directly from the code editor so i haven't really uh, done much. So I haven't really compiled it, but uh, in a few days I'll compile it and uh, upload it to my Patreon page so that you can download it for free. It won't be under uh, Patreon paywall. Uh, I can just get it for free. But uh, uh, as this finishes, let me just close this and uh, just give it a moment to complete up to 250. Actually, it's done. Just cancel this. So uh, if you're using Blender, you can, if you have a project already inside Blender, I uh, can play it back by just going under I think render view animation that way you can play the animation directly using this window but uh, if you if you have closed blender there is no way for you to play back the sequence you would have to import it in a software like uh, Premiere Pro to see what you played back or what you have rendered so and uh, if you have if you want to preview previous projects you worked on I say let me get something here like uh, some of the projects I've rendered here you can see there isn't a way to let me get rid of this you can see this is a this is an image sequence uh, there is no player that plays uh, 
an image sequence to my knowledge. So uh, what I've done is that uh, you can see, I can simply, let me first open up the code, I'll compile this as into a pro an, an actual program you can use, but uh, without going into the code. But uh, uh, so with this, you can just go under open image sequence and uh, let me navigate to uh, the one we have just rendered. So I know that it's in the new folder too. In uh, temp new folder two, uh, this image sequence. So if I select open, it should start playing. You can get rid of this ad if it's getting in the way and uh, it should play just nicely. I don't even have to have a uh, blender open. And uh, the great thing is about this is that I also have access to any recent projects you have worked on. Uh, so, or you have loaded into uh, this project. So I can just switch between them and I can see now I can go between different uh, sequences as you can see. You can pause, you can go back frame by frame. Actually, this was a tutorial I did uh, a few, I think maybe a year ago, if you want to do some <laughs> some nice physics, you can uh, watch that tutorial and uh, see how that goes. So I'm planning to release this maybe in two or three days, maybe two or one day uh, from now. So yeah, but, uh, again, it's going to be as simple as this. So you just open it uh, like this and then just uh, navigate to where you have the image sequence. Uh, so again, temp and uh, just open and I should open uh, the project for you and play it back. Don't worry about this ad. Uh, if you want to buy whatever item is showing here, you can just click on that. That way you can support uh, the channel. Uh, as I'm, a I'm an affiliate with, uh, uh, with the banners you see there, uh, but uh, if it's getting in the way, you just click on this X and I should only be able to see the controls uh, that are here. And, uh, you can navigate between the different projects you have um, let's see, this is project one, then project like that, very, very easily. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.